Hey guys, welcome again to uh, another lecture, that is lecture 5 of this uh, basic introduction to financial education and investment course and uh, today I just talk to you about financial rules uh, uh, that will make you shift from the left side of the cash flow quadrant to the right side uh, the focus or the aim is to make you become uh, either a big business owner uh, or an investor uh, even if you, have, you are an employee or uh, have a small business. So uh, there, are three, there are three most important things you need to know uh, uh, in order for you to shift from the left side of the cash flow quadrant to the right side. And uh, these ones uh, are basically in how you manage your finances. And the first one is uh, uh, debt or borrowing money. When you are borrowing money either for business or for, for, for personal use, uh, ensure that you stick on uh, good debt. Good debt is the, the type of debt that makes you more money, borrowed money that makes you more money. That's what the rich do because the, or those on the right side of the cash flow quadrant do. If they are taking uh, a bank loan to build a house, they will take a bank loan to build rental houses. But you find that most of the middle class and the poor people take loans to buy a home, a home they live in. And you know, there's this uh, belief that your home is an asset. If your home is not able to generate income for you, it isn't an asset because a home basically has the expenses you need to pay for electricity, you need to pay for many maintenance, you need to, to do the toilet, everything. So it's actually not an asset, it turns into a liability. But if you can turn, uh, if you invest in rental houses, people can rent and pay uh, pay you some money, then your house go, becomes an asset. So that is the difference. So focus on good debt. That is the first rule. Focus on good debt, not bad debt. We have two different types of debt, good and bad. So good debt takes money from you. With, uh, when you pay interest rates, for example, I borrow $1,000, I pay back uh, $1,200. The $200 extra dollars is actually uh, a liability to me or an expense for that matter. So rule number one, focus on good debt, not bad debt. And then ensure if uh, you are either paying rent or mortgage, that you should, uh, 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 your rent stock mortgage should be less than what you earn weekly. So if for example I'm making a 20, uh, $20 in a day, in a week I'll be having maybe $140. So my rent should be below $140, depending on where you are living. So that you can have more than enough to save. Once you're able to save, you can now focus on uh, investing your savings into income generating assets so that your money can keep moving. Once there is cash flow your, or your money is moving, the movement of money, uh, you will be able to generate more money uh, from the money you make and uh, acquire more income generating asset, uh, assets. Third, as your income increases, your cost of living should decrease or remain the same. You find that uh, a mistake most people do if for example they had a job uh, on which they were earning seven hundred dollars and then they get a promotion and uh, get uh, now two two thousand dollars now they move uh, into a bigger house so uh, they take a bigger mortgage so you find that their pay rise doesn't mean any it doesn't make any sense because they are spending more than they used to spend. So ensure you minimize your expenses. So remember you need to sacrifice in order for you to cross over from the left side uh, of the cash flow quadrant to the right side. So you'll have to you'll have to to force yourself to sacrifice. If you get a pay rise or you get another income generating asset in your asset column don't increase your expenses. Remain the same or reduce so that you have more cash flow coming in in order for you to save and buy more income generating assets. I think that makes sense. Uh, as I told you, I won't make it any complicated because I'm not a financial expert and if I can understand this, I really hope you can also get it 
and be able to make a difference in your life and how you handle your finances. So uh, also, uh, the fourth rule, you must be able to take care of your time. Remember, time is more important than money because with time, uh, you can't, once a minute is wasted, you cannot get that minute. But with money, you can always get more and more money even if you lose some. So time is more important than money. How you manage your time uh, determines also uh, whether you are shifting from the left side to the right side. If you focus on uh, less important activities uh, that aren't generating you income, then you'll always stick on the left side. But if you are able to focus on income generating activities, productive activities, it will be easier to shift to the right side. So uh, that's it for today. You'll be able to see it in the, uh, in the picture, uh, the financial rules worth sharing uh, in this lecture. See you again in the next lecture. But remember, before you leave, uh, leave us your comment. Uh, you can uh, like our video as well and subscribe in order for you to receive the next lecture uh, the moment it is uploaded. So that's it for this lecture. See you again in the next lecture.